Good morning. So this morning I'm going to talk about debating. I have two reasons for talking about debating. First of all, you know we have a debate club here at this school and some of the members are standing here so you can see this as an extra lesson. Secondly, debating is not only important in your DSC writing and speaking, but it's also an important skill in life. So let's talk about debating first. <coughs> the definition of a debate is just an argument between friends, firstly. When you are talking with your friend about which movie you want to see, no, I want to watch this. And then the other friend wants to watch this film. How will you solve this argument? <coughs> Another definition for debate is when there is a more formal discussion, like in the British Parliament. The formal discussions to discuss very important matters. Then. As you can see, that's in America. The Democratic Party is busy trying to elect someone that can run against Donald Trump in the next election in America. So this is just a debate, but it's more like a show, and they call it a debate. So I think you understand what the word debate means. Let's do some part of speech analysis. Debate is it a noun or a verb. In this case, you can use it as a noun. Let's have a debate. Or, let's debate. And in that case, it's a verb. So, debate competitions. We debate about something. Any argument needs something to argue about. And when we are in a debate competition, we call it a motion. For example, plastic bags should be banned. And you know, I don't like plastic bags. That's easy. Let's ban plastic bags. Yes. Easy to debate. I don't like it. It's bad for the environment. Another example. Wi-Fi must be free and available for everyone. Who disagrees with that? That's easy. Easy to debate. But you have to remember there's always two sides to a debate. The one side is called for the motion, or in favor of the motion, or affirmative. Today, we could just call that side the affirmative side. They are for the motion. Then the other side of the debate, we say it's against the motion, or not in favor of the motion, or the negative side. Okay, so those are the two sides of a normal debate. How do you argue both sides? It's not difficult, and this is the second part of my presentation to you today, is how to argue both sides, when it's not easy. For example, plastic bags. It's easy to say, yes, let's ban plastic bags. But if, it's your, but if it's your job to argue the other side, no, don't ban plastic bags. That is not very easy. Also, do you want to say no free Wi-Fi for everyone? That is very difficult to argue the other side. To say, no, we don't want free Wi-Fi, that's very difficult. So, to explain to you how to argue both cases, I've decided to use this motion. Shark fin, shoe, shark fin soup should be banned in Hong Kong. Okay? 
Again, for me, this will be an easy debate. I don't like shark fin soup, and I don't think it's necessary, but maybe you don't agree with me. So let's talk about shark fin soup quickly. It's a highly sought after dish. A highly sought after dish. People go to restaurants to have it. They want it, and it's important for them. It's highly sought after. It's expensive. It's a good it's a good way to show off. It's a good way to show your friends you have a lot of money. And it can embody a lot of notions, for example, hospitality, hospitality, status, I am very rich, and good fortune, good luck, good fortune. And you can say it's a traditional dish in some parts of the world. Okay. So that's shark fin soup. So the affirmative side, remember this is the side that says, yes, let's ban shark fin soup in Hong Kong. Again, this is easy because let me give you some arguments. First, let's talk about the process. Finning. So they use shark fins and when they cut it off, it's called finning. And that's a very cruel process. The shark is still alive and it's inefficient. That means you only cut off the fins and the rest of the shark is left to drown. Drown, yes, they drown in the sea because they can't swim. So it's a very bad process. Let's ban shark fins. Next, health. Now, this is according to research. There's no evidence of medicinal and health advantages. Medicinal means if you are sick, it will not make you healthy. Or health benefits, it will not make you stronger or prevent you from being sick. So this is according to research. So that's argument number two, health. There's no use to eat this. Don't eat shark fin soup. It's not healthy. It's nothing. Number three, the environment. Argument number three, the environment. So, you remember Lion King? Do you remember Lion King? Um, food chain? If you take the, the, the circle of life, the circle of life. Do you remember? Huh? Circle? Huh? Lion King? No. Okay. So, ecosystem, that means the shark is part of an ecosystem. If you take the shark out of the environment, it will result in many bad things. The sharks are important for the environment. It's also not easy to monitor. So, it's not easy for the police to go and find some ships very far in the sea and see what they are doing. Are you hunting just 10 sharks every day? No, it's very difficult for them to monitor. Then, tradition. So, fourth argument, I say tradition is not the law. Tradition is something that all people say we should do. Tradition is the past, and people change. Tradition is not bad, but let's consider all these arguments. Maybe we can stop this tradition. So, you can see, the affirmative side of the debate can easily argue this motion. They can say, yes, let's ban shark fin soup. Here is four, four arguments. Okay? But remember, there's always two sides to a debate. Two sides. So what will the other side say, the negative side? How will they argue, no, 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 don't ban shark fin soup. How will you argue that? One easy one for them is to rely on principle. 
Now, I'm not talking about Principal Hoon here. That's with an A. This is Principal. For example, why do you say, I should not kill and eat sharks, but you kill and eat pigs and chicken? So that's one argument. You can also say, you say sharks are not treated humanely, but have you seen how they treat chickens and pigs? So that's one argument, but remember, the affirmative side made four arguments, and you are only making one. And that's okay, but there's more. Let's go back to the motion, and let's look at this word, banned. Banned. What does this mean? Stop. Do not use. Stop. So this is what I'm going to focus on. As the, in the negative team, as the representative of the negative team, we agree. Shark finning is very bad and it's a bad process. But banning will not work. Banning will not work. It's not effective. Okay? It will create a black market. That means if you ban shark fin soup or the use of shark fins, some people will still buy and sell it illegally. And that will create more problems as we have seen in the drug and other similar things that have been banned. Price. Banning something will increase the price. And you know, people buy shark fin soup because it's expensive. To tell their friends, listen, I am rich and successful. If you ban shark fin soup, you will only increase the price. Do not ban shark fin soup. Banning is not a good idea. So, what do we do? We give a model. A model. A model is an alternative solution to the problem. Alternative solution. So instead of banning, let's just start by educating people. Research has shown that this program works. If you teach people that shark fins are not good for you, it's bad for the environment, it's just an old silly tradition, then Maybe people will stop eating shark fin soup by themselves. You don't have to ban it. Then regulate it even more. If you ban it, people will, like I said, create a black market and there's no control over a black market. It's very difficult for the police to catch everyone. So regulate it. Give licenses. Allow some shops to sell it, for example, or only some restaurants to sell it. So you can see, if you were in a debate and you were in the affirmative team, it was so easy. But now, if you look at this debate from the negative side, the negative side would have probably won this debate because they have a better solution. So remember, there's always two sides to an argument. Be objective. Do not only think with your heart, but also use your brain. Thank you.